Kashmir is famously known as the paradise on earth. The piece of land has often been referred as the heaven. Unfortunately, this paradise is witnessing downfall. This dispute is claiming precious innocent lives and inviting human rights violations. The Kashmir conflict continues to be unresolved after more than six decades, driving the conventional and nuclear arms race between India and Pakistan. A child in conflict within Jammu and Kashmir has been exposed to different kinds of vulnerabilities. They are the worst sufferers of conflict and the prime victims of violence. Children, they have suffered physically, emotionally, psychologically and intellectually over the last quarter of a century or so in Kashmir. The children are not feeling very comfortable. They have lost the safety of their homes, the protection of their parents, which has had a deep lasting impact on their psyche. Kashmir is a state full with orphans and half orphans. Right now we have got our overall data of roughly around 14,000 orphans. Half orphans refer to those children whose parents were subjected to enforced disappearances. They cannot be named as orphans since they are still unaware about the whereabouts of their parents. There's a question of disappearances in Kashmir. I mean, we have more than 9,000 people who have disappeared in the last uh, uh, 20 years. And, uh, and many of them have been parents of, of, of children. Uh, and those children don't know whether their parents are, uh, who are, which, which, are which, which are officially missing are dead or they are uh, kept in, in jails or they are, they, are, they are missing. So I think it's, it's um, a very unfortunate scenario that uh, as far as children rights are concerned, there is no mechanism in Jammu and Kashmir to ensure uh, that, the, the, that we protect the child. Once you are an orphan, you not only suffer physically, naturally because your nutrition suffers, your immunization status suffers, there is nobody to care for you, and then it has a very adverse impact. During the 2010 civil agitation, Paramilitary CRP of troopers mercilessly beat Samir Ahmed Ra, aged 8 years outside his house at Batamaru, when he was out to buy candies from a nearby shop. <laughs> I remember a child, an 8-year-old child, who was trampled upon to death in Batwalu region. And now his own relations, his own class fellows were shell-shocked. And they are the ones who also are prone to suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Samir ke jaane se hamara ghar khatam ho gaya hamari taleem khatam ho gayi hamara bachpan khatam ho gaya hum khali ab itna jaate hain hamara sath insaaf ho aur kuch bhi nahi 
वहाँ से एक आवाज़ आई एक जैसे इसमें होती है बुलेट बुलेट में जैसी आवाज़ होती है वैसी एक आवाज़ आई और मैंने अपनी आंखें बंद की और जब मैंने अपनी आंखें खोली तो मैं उस टाइम हॉस्पिटल में था और फिर मुझे वहाँ पर दो सर्जरीज आई अब मैं अपने उम्र के बच्चों के साथ खेल नहीं सकता जैसा कि मेरी फेवरेट गेम फुटबॉल थी अब मैं वो खेल नहीं सकता क्योंकि वहाँ पर डॉक्टर ने पहले ही मना किया कि क्रिकेट फुटबॉल और ऐसी गेमें आउटडोर गेम्स आप अब खेल नहीं सकते not only suffered direct injury with bullets with pellet guns with pepper gas with tear gas shells but they have been witness to all the gory incidents that have occurred in kashmir children of this lawless land are being arrested regularly traumatized and they continue to be the victims of torture there are many cases of juvenile arrests and detentions and which is uh, Uh, a day to day affair although you know we 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 have been very vocal against it and demanding that there were uh, human rights organizations amnesty uh, united nations asia watch even they have come up with reports and 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 uh, uh, and details about that but sadly their arrests are, are continuing i mean 12 year old 13 year old boys are being picked up they have been kept in 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 custody there is no juvenile uh, system here in may 2013 i was coming back from a tuitions There was protest going on. As I just reached there, cop uh, CRPF just took me without without letting me say any word. They just beat beat me up. As of cops arrived there, local off police station they handed me over to them, and 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 I was then lodged into a local police station there and kept there in a lockup along with ten more guys, ten more boys, lot of. a lot of them were minors as me we were uh, kept in lock up for four days all the food was provided and blankets but they we were uh, tortured and um, interrogated full night just a week back the juvenile were arrested and we are handcuffed when they were brought in the court we just got lawyers the tigans got stunned because it is totally in contravention with the juvenile just act they were arrested 12 days back and their arrest was shown only one day back they were kept in air cargo which is known to be an, a camp of stf and their arrest was not shown anywhere nor there was any fir registered against them which is totally against the mandate of juvenile just act you cannot keep a juvenile in a police lockup you have to keep him in remand home in kashmir juveniles are treated as adults in prison violation of the juvenile justice act and united nations convention on the rights of the child information provided uh, by the state home department and right information act reveals that From 1989 to 2013, 707 FIRs had been registered against juveniles. A number of juveniles had been arrested over the years under the Jammu and Kashmir Public Safety Act. Here, children are tried uh, in normal courts. They are put in police lockups and other with other criminals. There are no juvenile justice boards, juvenile welfare boards, and uh, child welfare committees are non-functional. See. when we talk about a juvenile which i said in the beginning you cannot treat a juvenile of jammu kashmir with the juvenile of rest of india a juvenile is born in a conflict area and he has to be given a special treatment his mental psyche mindset is different he has seen the worst times an identified gunman killed a preschool kid burhan on september 19 2015 when he and his father were walking home in north kashmir's sopor town burhan who was in his father's lap was shot 3 times when bullets were fired at his father he died in the hospital because of the loss of blood in october 2015 government forces used flashbang grenades during protests in the old city of srinagar a 9 year old amir became its victim 
Amir received severe burn injuries on his face and arm. Bu sabah tuşam yürüyor sabrı yan dalıfa. Ay trok pastır haber kırta tayar gias mı? Sabah çıktı mı çalı bu videoda bir pastır. Beş niye pay karan kalı zula adam var. A European Union delegation during their visit to the state in 2004-2005 declared Jammu and Kashmir a beautiful prison on earth. Large number of educational buildings are still under military occupation and are surrounded by their camps and bunkers, distracting students and causing a trouble of their daily activities in school. According to a survey, out of the 30 schools randomly selected for the survey across the valley, 79% were at a distance of less than 1 km from the nearest military bunker. In fact, some of the schools share a common border with the camps, while 20% of them are just 2 to 3 km away from the nearest military camp and 1% is partially occupied by the military or paramilitary troops. The children of their age in other countries would be very happy uh, saying alphabets like A for apple, B for boy and C for cat. But I think due to conflict in Kashmir, even uh, these small terms have changed for the small children. Children here have devised their own different vocabulary for A for, uh, you know, they say A for army, B for bullet, C for uh, crackdowns and things like that. When we go to school or market, we see a lot of police and men in uniform, holding guns and lattes. Even when we are in the classroom, the images continue to haunt us. Impact of uh, on education has also been uh, very bad because, you know, due to the militarization and the presence of camps and security forces, many girl children find it very difficult to go to their schools because if en route there is a security camp or, or you know, bunkers around, they experience a lot of ear teasing and whistling and other kind of stuff that goes on around that because of which these girls start feeling very insecure. They have either to be accompanied by a family member to the school or sometimes they prefer not to go to the school at all, which is in fact, you know, uh, having a bad effect on their education. The situation here affects our psychology and behavior. We feel, sometimes we behave in a manner and afterwards we feel which was not normal. We don't have the joy and thrill of living without fear and fear. It depresses us. We too want to live and enjoy like other children of any other peaceful place. I often think, why we live in this migrant colony? Why we are called migrants? It's our land. We are natives of Kashmir, but still, we are called migrants. It pains me. I get sometimes disturbed. People say, conditions are not normal here. That's why we have to live in this migrant colony. I look forward for the day when everything would be normal here and I no more would be called a migrant and mingle with all other children around without any fear and visit my parents birthplace or ancestors house which I have never seen or visited yet. On one fateful day of August 5, 2015, two siblings, 14-year-old Shakir Muhammad Reshi, Adil Muhammad Reshi, along with another child in their village Baba Salina Gandabal were playing in a nearby playfield. While playing, they spotted a strange object and started fiddling with it. It exploded, resulting in death of the two siblings. According to the information which I have obtained through Right Information Act from the government authorities, the number of children killed due to exploded shells, littered explosives and live ammunition at destroyed in Kashmir from 1990 to 2014 is 50, while as children go, while as 83 children got injured and 27 handicapped. But according to our information, the figures are high because the data provided by the authorities is not up to the mark. And details regarding many such incidents are missing from the information provided by the authorities. <laughs>
مےٚ حظ چھِ یِم تہِ دٮ۪ماغَس منٛز تِہٕنٛز شکل یِوان مےٚ حظ چھِ خوابَس منٛز تہِ یِم تِم یِوان مےٚ حظ مےٚ حظ They have seen blood spilled all over in their neighborhood. They have seen television pictures. They have heard stories of their loved ones, their relations getting brutally killed. And the only way this finds expression is in their behavioral problem, is in their emotional problem, is in their poor intellectual development, is in their poor physical growth. All this is attributable to the violence which our children have seen not only within their homes but on the roadside and in relation to their neighbors friends and class fellows as we all know that india is 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 a member of the united nations they, uh, yeah, it has signed many treaties on human rights i mean there's a law which is there at the international level as far as protection of children is concerned but sadly uh, you know uh, there is no implementation of that law uh, in the real context in kashmir we demand that a special rapporteur uh, should be appointed uh, vis-a-vis um, you know upholding these children rights maybe the united nations can take a lead in it and they can try to see that there should be no violations uh, of human rights especially vis-a-vis children <laughs> اور ہوئی منٹ پہ آئی کھیز گو دماغ مے اس دپی پیو جہاز اس اس تورے سوری پکے اس نان وار تو مے اس جہاز پیو یہ لاز بتا تا تو اس مے اس بچ پنی بچ پتا مے نس رو نہ چن گاش مے اس تولیم تھوت رے نہ پنی سی نہ سات مگر اکس اس تتی محمد اکس زندے تو مگی بچو یو نا اپیل کر مے بچو یو نی بچ تس تو لوگ نیو سوور شے بچو زا پھون سد گزریا بوچ اس وین تی پیار مے اس شور یو وین تی وان مگر تی موس چن یو وینی مے اس سد او چن گاش تی وو وید وید children are facing the brunt of this conflict and have lost their childhood their innocence and they will continue to be victimized until the peaceful resolution of kashmir issue Perhaps this is the time to look into this burning issue and take the younger generation out from the wrath of this deadly conflict. <laughs>